What is the importance of knowing the list of countries included under Executive Order Number 408? This means that if you are a national of a country listed under EO 408, this means you can enter the Philippines for a maximum period of 30 days without applying for a visa. So this means you will be entitled for a visa-free stay in the Philippines up to a maximum period of 30 days. So if your country is included in the list of countries, you can enter Philippines visa-free. In the list of countries, USA is included. So this means all U.S. citizens can enter the Philippines visa-free for 30 days. All U.S. citizens can stay in the Philippines for a maximum period of 30 days. The basis for these 30 days visa-free privileges for U.S. citizens is included under Executive Order Number 408. So this Executive Order Number 408 provides a more expeditious and simpler forms to facilitate travel in the Philippines. However, there are two requirements for you to be entitled for a visa-free stay in the Philippines. First, you must have a valid passport that is at least six months of your stay in the Philippines. And second, you must have a valid onward or return ticket. Return ticket if you're going to your home country or onward ticket to your next country of destination. So there are two requirements. Upon entry, you will receive an entry stamp to your passport and also the date when you must exit Philippines. For U.S. citizens who plan to stay longer than 30 days, you have two options. The first option is for you to obtain a visa prior to travel. However, you must apply for a visa online at visa.gov.ph and you must submit your supporting documents to the Philippine consulate abroad covering your residence. So it may take a while before you can obtain a visa. Now, the second option is that you can avail of the visa-free privileges because you're a U.S. citizen. So this means you can have a maximum stay of 30 days. However, you can extend your stay to the Philippines before the expiration of 30 days. What you must do is that you must go to the nearest Bureau of Immigration and pay the fees and extend your stay to the Philippines beyond 30 days. So it's discretionary upon the Bureau of Immigration how long you're going to stay in the Philippines or they will give you a maximum period of two months, three months, or six months. So initial period of extension will be two months. So it depends on the Bureau of Immigration office. There are other types of U.S. citizens as passengers to the Philippines. The other types of passengers are dual citizens. If you are a dual citizen, meaning to say you were naturalized as a foreign citizen and then you reacquired Filipino citizenship, then you can travel to the Philippines and stay in the Philippines indefinitely. Dual citizens are Filipino citizens, so Filipino citizens have the right to travel and also you have the right to stay indefinitely in the Philippines. However, there are dual citizens who do not have a valid Philippine passport. If you are a dual citizen, you can bring your foreign passport. Also, if you are a U.S. citizen, you can bring your U.S. passport and your dual citizenship documents. There are actually three pages to the dual citizenship documents. Also, if you are a dual citizen and you don't have dual citizenship documents, you must present your foreign passport or if you're a U.S. citizen, you can present your U.S. passport and if you don't have the dual citizenship documents, you will either be considered a Balikbayan or former Filipino. I will provide later on in this video the requirements for former Filipinos traveling to Philippines. Now, as I have mentioned earlier, dual citizens can travel to the Philippines and stay in the Philippines indefinitely because you are considered a Filipino citizen. Make sure to bring 
your dual citizenship documents and your foreign passport so you can stay indefinitely in the Philippines. Let's talk about U.S. citizens who are former Filipino citizens. Who are considered former Filipino citizens? Former Filipino citizens are natural-born Filipinos who migrated abroad and acquired foreign citizenship. So in this case, we are talking about former Filipino citizens who are now U.S. citizens. If you are going to travel to Philippines, you can avail of the Balikbayan visa privileges. So this means you can stay in the Philippines for a maximum period of one year. So if you are a former Filipino citizen and you are a U.S. citizen, you can stay for up to a period of one year in the Philippines. Also, if you are a former Filipino citizen, make sure that your country is included under executive order number 408. So this means you can only stay in the Philippines under the Balikbayan visa free privileges if your country is included under EO408. So beyond one year period, either you must leave Philippines or you must extend your stay in the Philippines. So you must visit the nearest Bureau of Immigration office, pay the extension fees and stay in the Philippines. Now, make sure that if you are a Balikbayan or a former Filipino citizen, you can only avail of the Balikbayan privileges if your country is included under EO408, like a visa-free stay in the Philippines, unless your country requires a visa. However, not everyone can avail of the Balikbayan visa-free privileges of one year stay in the Philippines. If you are a national of a country that requires a visa to visit Philippines, so look at EO number 408. If you are a former Filipino citizen but your country is not included under EO number 408, then you will be required a visa to enter Philippines. So there is a huge difference. What if you are a U.S. citizen? who is a former Filipino citizen and you don't have an old Philippine passport or PSA-issued birth certificate. This means you can be entitled for a 30 days of visa-free stay in the Philippines. So make sure that you comply with the immigration entry requirements to avail of the Balikbayan visa. Now, if you are a native U.S. citizen, meaning to say you are not a former Filipino, and you wanted to stay in the Philippines permanently, either you must apply for a retirees visa or you can avail of the visa extensions if you are a tourist visiting the Philippines or you can avail of the 13A visa if you are married to a Filipino citizen. If you are a former Filipino citizen, and you wanted to stay permanently in the Philippines, you have several options. The first and the best option is for you to apply for dual citizenship. You can apply at the Bureau of Immigration, submit the petition, and submit the supporting documents. Make sure that you process your dual citizenship before your one year is up. So this means that if you are in the Philippines and entitled to a Balikbayan visa and you wanted to apply for dual citizenship, make sure to apply within the one year period of your visa-free stay in the Philippines. Your other option if you don't want to become a dual citizen is to apply for a 13G visa. A 13G visa is a type of permanent visa in the Philippines. So I'm going to provide you the requirements for applying a 13G visa for former Filipino citizens. Another option, if you don't want to avail of the dual citizenship or the 13G visa is to apply for a retirees visa if you wanted to retire in the Philippines. Now, there are also U.S. citizens who can be considered 
dual citizens by by choice these are former filipino citizens and there are also dual citizens who are considered as such by operation of law so let me explain in detail for example you were born in the philippines of a foreign parent for example an american citizen and a filipino parent and your foreign parent applied for your u.s citizenship and you migrated abroad so that means you are considered a dual citizen by operation of law you don't need to apply for dual citizenship or reacquire filipino citizenship because you are considered dual citizen by operation of law if you are a u.s citizen and you wanted to stay permanently in the philippines let me know your thoughts in the comments section below if you have any other questions or comments please post them down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can again thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell i always welcome new subscribers thank you guys for watching i hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day